Hello everyone and thanks for stopping by to Scrap and Craft with Terry. Today we're going to make a mini coin envelope journal. And it's just made out of one of these coin envelopes. It's going to have a little, a little bundle of paper in it. <clears throat> Excuse me. And it's going to be nice and colorful with floral designs and little tags. So we're going to go ahead and get started. If you like my video, I just ask that you give me a thumbs up. Check out my other videos. So, let me see here. This envelope with the flap folded down is about six and a half inches long and about three and a half inches wide. Now the paper that I'm using today to cover it, I, I just had a bunch of little squares of floral paper, so I thought I would use them for my backgrounds. I have all these numbered so I know where they go. So let's see, we're going to start with number one, and then I had like all of these little tags. So I just cut them to fit my, my, um, this is just file folder. So I just used these to cover my file folder for my tags. And I just, on the back of them, very lightly stamped. I just used my script stamp. Just very lightly stamped. Some of them got a little darker than others, but that's okay. We don't care. And then these can be journaled on because it's not dark. So after I glue these together, I'm going to round the corners. Well, that's my back, so I can't glue on there. So I hope everyone is doing good. We're having a nice spring day. It's like somewhere around 80 or close to it. It's like actually really very warm. And I don't really know if you can hear it or not. If you do hear anything, my ceiling fan is just on low. I can't be in here without air circulating. I just went ahead and lightly stamped around the edges of these tags. After I round my corners, then I'll just um, ink ink them and just trim where they need to be trimmed I just thought these were cute for the tags now these here some of them have the little um, thing cut out in them um, I could probably do that on a couple. Because they're made like the, um, like the tickets. Not all of them have it, but some of them do. I think the last time I used my... My little punch, I think I got some glue on it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and round my corners. I think I'll just do the small, the small punch. And then just ink. Okay, now 
Just going to glue this down. I've seen different ones make stuff, little journals and that, with the little coin envelopes. So I thought I'd give it a whirl. Now some of these are printed to go sideways. But that, that's fine. doesn't matter. It's so small, and there's going to be a tag in there, and you're not even going to know it. Now, out of another one of the little papers that I had, I just cut this corner out for a little pocket, a little pocket tuck. So I'm just going to glue down and across the bottom. And that'll just sit in there, and I think that looks cute. And I'm not really sure that I'm going to put anything on the top of these because they're so small. I don't really think they need anything. So then you can just pull it out and journal on it. Put it back in if you have any little notes that you want to do, anything like that. Stick it in your bag. Let's see where number two is. Number two, right here. So this is just gonna go on here. And of course, when I folded the envelope, you know, some of the, some of these sections are a little wider than the other sections, so just have to kind of measure and I actually didn't measure I just stuck my paper up there and marked it I'm going to go ahead and that's the back of that one so I'm going to stick this one on This one just had these edges, so I just left them like that and just highlighted them with the ink. Try to make sure I get them a little even. don't think I got the last one very even. So there's that tag, and I'm going to round my corners in a second. Now this I'm just going to use as a little side tuck and this was a piece that was cut off of one of the other papers so I'm just going to try to stay real close to the edge and glue down this this side and across the the bottom And that'll just make a little tuck. Here it is. So this is just a fun little project. Just something little, something quick. And if you make mini journals, these would work wonderful in a mini journal. So that just sits right in there. And that looks good. All right, number three. Calling number three. Okay, this one's number three. And that's just going to glue on there. I thought this would be a cool little project just to use up little, um, like little papers. If you have scraps, you could even do that. They don't all have to be floral. They don't all have to be the same design. You can do them out of, um, you could make your own little coin envelopes if you did it out of like, um, like the, um, the lighter brown colors and stuff like that would be pretty. And you could just stamp them or you can add anything to them. 
So there's the back of that one. And if you're going to make them out of like your digitals or your scrapbook paper, you can make them to match whatever you're putting them in. Let me make sure I'm up here far enough so I'm not going off off the table. Some of these fit tight to the edge. I can just go ahead and punch that out. that out. Some of them was a little bit shorter so there's a little bit of the file folder showing and that's fine also. I don't mind seeing the little border around it. Actually I like the little borders. Okay, now this is going to be a belly band. I'm just going to put that right in the center there. So just slide right under there and that's that's that side and we're just going to tip it over and do the back side okay so number four and that will just sit on there once you get everything cut out it just goes together really fast. If you don't want to ink anything, you don't have to ink anything. I think this one was a little bit shorter than some of them, so well I have a little bit more of the envelope showing up there, but that's okay. doesn't have to be perfect. All right, on this one I'm just going to do the little side tuck. And I got a glue across the bottom. That fits all right. Yep. The back of that one is stamped. You can also just put these on with um, a glue stick. Glue stick is just not my favorite. I use it sometimes. Okay, and there's that tag. Okay, number five. So we have dark colors and we have light colors. I think they all go together pretty good. Let me wipe my tip off. There.
And then this can just be set in a pocket. Or you can um, paper clip it in. If you wanted it glued in to just fold out, then you just wouldn't put... You wouldn't put anything on this one. You would leave this blank. And then you could just um, glue it in. Now that one didn't go in straight at all. But it has to stay there. The art glitter glue, it just goes kind of fast. This is going to be a belly band. I should put it on this side to cover up my blender. I could do that. I could have a pocket going that way and a pocket going this way. I'm going to do that. So, I don't want to glue this side. So we'll just cover up the blunder. And then I'll just leave it hang off a little tiny bit. And that'll work just fine. Nobody will even know the difference. Stamped on the back. And it doesn't really matter if these are upside down or not because you can't read it. If you looked real, real close and you studied it, you might know if that writing was up or down, but I'm not going to study it. Okay, now this one was a little bit smaller, so it's just going to kind of sit in the center. And cut these out. And then round my corners. like using file folders for tags and pockets and stuff. All in all, they are a lot cheaper than um, cardstock. Okay, so we'll have a pocket going that way and a pocket going this way, and nobody knows my blender's there. All right, now this is number six, and I wanted it to go around the design of the pocket so all I did was I cut this to size and then I slipped this in the pocket because this is going to be a pocket on the end so I'm leaving that open I just slipped it all the way down in there when I got down where I wanted I just drew around there and cut it so it fits perfect And you can leave a border around these, or you don't have to leave a border around them. It's completely up to you. Now, I also cut the, the angle for this pocket to match the background. So I'm going, I'm going to, am I going to glue two sides? Let's see here. Nope, I'm going to glue all three sides. And this is just off of another one of these little pieces of paper. Let's see how this one fits. It's good. Okay. 
Okay. You can fit them together so nice and easy when you don't have the glue on them. This glue really grips fast. All right, now these only have little tiny baby notches, so I'm not going to use the punch and cut them out. So let me round the edges. in there just like that. Perfect. Let me brush some of this ink off of there. All right, now this is the last tag. And this one was a little bit bigger to go down in this pocket. So I'm just going to put this in the center of it. I inked this side. You can turn it around that way. And I inked this side lightly. I inked this one a little bit darker, just so it would show something on the background. going to round these corners also. Hopefully that's on there straight. Okay. And then this is going to slide right down in here. And it's going to slide in just enough. Now this is open all the way to the bottom. So like if you wanted to fold a piece of paper or something to put in there. That I'm just going to leave so it just stops right there. So it won't have a pull on it, but you can open it up and pull it. And then it's going to fold up like this. And it'll just close over like this. And you know what? I forgot a piece of paper for the little flap. So let me hop off of here and grab a little piece of paper real quick. I will be right back. Okay. So seeing how I had to grab more paper, I just cut these off of another piece and I just cut the same for both sides. Guess I didn't even give the little flaps a thought. Yeah. Now we'll just turn this over. And glue this one on there. It's very bright with flowers, but I think it looks pretty cute. And then this will come over and we're just going to have a little tie around it. But first, I'm going to put in my papers. And I'm going to put them right in here because then this will close right over just like that. And the papers will be in there. And I just had little tiny pieces of coffee dyed paper. Some was torn. 
So there's four sheets. So all together, it's 12 pieces of writing paper. I think this turned out to be a cute little project. And seeing how this is a yellow background, I thought I had a bright orange baker's twine that I could use this on, but I guess I didn't. I mean, uh, orange baker's twine that I could use on this. I'm going to make sure that I get it in, in there. I'm not going to guarantee it's going to go in just like it's supposed to, but we'll hope. We'll hope for the best. Let's see if I paper clip this to this bottom. And another one to this bottom. Maybe that'll hold them. So I'm just going to poke my holes in it. And poke one in the center. Oh yeah, that went went that one went through good. And I'm just going to poke one down here. That one went through good. So we'll hope the last one does. And this is just called a pamphlet stitch. Good. They all went through good. So I'm going to start in the center from the inside and generally you just wrap it around a couple times at the most two and a half times make sure you have extra I don't even think this time I measured it I'm gonna let that hang off go back up through here And then go up here to the top and go down through. And we'll just pull this out of the way a little bit. That thread's kind of kind of thick for this little folio or journal. We'll pull that up through there, same hole. So now when you come up, you want to make sure you have um, thread on both sides. I'm just going to go ahead and cut this. And I'm just going to tie. I don't think I'm going to tie anything else other than a knot. And my papers might have moved a little bit. And if you wanted a bow, you could tie a bow. I don't think they were all straight to begin with. Nope, that'll work just fine. And I'm just going to cut these off. Okay. I think that turned out cute. Very cute. Alright. So we have a pocket and a tag. A pocket and a tag. We have this pocket and this tag. Then we have the tag, the bigger tag that's down inside the envelope. We have our writing paper. We have this little tuck pocket, another one, and a belly band, and a tag. So I'm just going to use this to tie it shut with. 
just because that'll work just fine. And I'm just going to wrap it around a couple of times. I don't need that much though. I'll just wrap it a couple times. Just enough to give me four a bow. So what does everybody think about the little mini journal? I think it turned out cute. Let me know down in the comments what you think. If you liked my video, give me a thumbs up. And I hope you come back to see me for my next video. Until then, everyone, have a wonderful day. Bye for now.